right, so in today's video, we are watching a plat bap. And basically, they want to know, do they need to spend more time DPSing or more time healing? Or was it just all the tank's fault? Per usual, we'll see how the tank plays. We'll see how the bap plays, and we'll let you know. Subscribe to the YouTube if you haven't. Yeah, like the video. It's time. It's video time. All right, here we go. Let's stop that all right, so far, this is kind of what you expect. What is going on? Wow, there was like so many 1v1s. Oh, that's in your diva right there. Like, in case you're wondering, but like, this is like... That was one of those things where, right away... Your question was this, right? Do I need a DPS more or heal more as BAP? And a lot of the time, a lot of the time, I'm going to be like, hey, you know, it's going to change based off of that. But to start off, if you watch how that D.Va played, I would say you might need to heal a bit more. If the D.Va's going to play like that, you're going to be in heal mode more than DPS mode. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because that tank at no point cared about their HP and just it just dropped right down. We'll see, though. That, that, that was just one team fight specifically, but right away you might be like, okay, you know what? I gotta watch my tank a little bit from the get-go, and if they play like that, I'm gonna have a little bit more healing done. Now, granted, you want to look for damage. But, like... First heal, first heal, first heal, first heal your zen. I, I like the idea of the lamp there, but, like, just be careful of a couple things. Nice. If your diva flies in there soon. Oh wait, is it, like your movement right there to where you went down, that would that play right there I would not recommend consistently. Lamp is fine. You can window this if you need to. Yeah, good luck. You notice how you're the only one who got rolled there? It's because you didn't go behind the wall. Right now your tank's playstyle is this is where right away you need to see how your diva's playing. Two minutes in, your D.Va just runs into their team over and over again, takes maximum amount of damage, flies to you, gets healed to 50% HP, and then runs back in. Okay, so, like, this is why I say it's going to be... You know, it, it, it's funny. It, it, it's funny because I want to sit there, and this is where, like, sometimes when I, when I make the call of, like, I, I'll say, like, sometimes it can be hindsight. First of all, to start off, I wouldn't have ran to the point there as BAP and made that play. But then, we pause for a second... And I see that they use Briggle and Torbolt because you touch the point. So then it's like, I, I, it, that's, that's a good play, right? Like, you lose a little bit of the map control that you would normally have, but, like, it's still a good play because you got two ults out for just going to the point and dropping your lamp. So it's like, I think in that situation, it's going to be what your team prioritizes more. It's either... Okay, now in hindsight of the hindsight... Your Zen now ulted because your team was... I, I got nothing at this point. I don't know. Yeah, I would just say play for map control at that point. <laughs> I, I, I got nothing on that one. Listen, sometimes you can sit there and talk about, you know, in theory, how you want to play Overwatch, but then you just have moments like that. And you're just like, yeah, have, have fun. I, I, I'm, I'm okay with that counter window. That's actually a pretty good window because it's unexpected. That's a good window. Nice job. DPS in here is fine, by the way. And the reason why DPS in through your window gets a little bit more value in general is because your heals also get increased through your window, right? So it's, it, you have a little bit more opportunity to kind of get those pop shots and not heal them as much. So that that's okay to DPS through your window. Remember, healing through your window is increased on BAP, right? I say on BAP, because obviously there's some heroes that will benefit from that, some that won't. Like, if you're Mercy on the other side of a window and, like, your heal beam goes through, that, that won't increase your healing, right? Um, your Zeno or won't and get increased healing, but, like, that will increase your healing as BAP. So remember that. Uh, Jamie, thank you for the one that looks like a heart. I'm sorry, thank you. Wait, yeah, I don't know who I want for the next, next Mythic to be. I think for the next Mythic, like, I feel like for the next Mythic, it should be more along the lines of more customization. That's where I'm at with it. As long as the next Mythic has more customization than, like, the previous Mythics of that. I think that's where I'm at, you know what I mean? Yeah, your D.Va just has a very aggressive playstyle. So, like, if your question was, do you heal more or DPS here more? I would say 
keep your diva up as much as you can and then go into DPS mode because if your diva is going to feed that much but also stay in suit for as long as they are, there's a pretty good chance you're going to have your window consistently and then you can DPS more. Does that make sense? Have I watched the Hanzo VOD? Uh, not in a while. You do have a very aggressive tank though. And like, there's just going to be, when it comes to tanking, there's going to be play styles that some tanks have. Like, you can go one game where you have a tank who plays really, really aggressive. Those diva alts really find you, don't they? Like, you can go from one game where you have, like, really aggressive tank. Like, a really aggressive tank. And then right away, the next game, you have a tank who plays a little bit more passive. And then after that, you have a tank who kind of plays both aggressive and then passive when they need to. So you have to make adjustments based off of each game that you're playing. So, when you ask the question, do I heal them, do I damage, etc., it's all based off of how your tank's playing. Your tank is a very aggressive tank. I would probably start with a little bit more um, healing, and then you'll get your windows quicker, and then that's when you put your damage output out. All right? You said sometimes the aggro tank is a lot of fun, but you don't want a heal bot generally. Let me just, I'll pause that very quickly. Something I've always said as a tank player, too, is that when you enable your teammates to pop off, you too can also pop off, right? So let's say you get into a game where you have a very aggressive tank, but that aggressive tank is constantly giving you one pick, at that point, you can just go into DPS mode, right? Like, you can just start to DPS like, like crazy and make a bunch of plays, right? So you're enabling your teammate, which also enables you to pop off. Granted, that won't always happen if your tank just goes up there and takes massive amounts of damage. Like, I can see the frustration with that. Let's say you have a Rhine who just walks up to him, takes a bunch of damage, you heal him up to full, and they keep doing that, they don't do anything. That, 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 that can be a little bit frustrating at times, right? But... When you have a tank who's able to create that space and then get to the limb every time, you're also going to pop off because you can just vibe out the whole time. You get what I'm saying? So, so it depends on a lot of different stuff. Tank play style can definitely help with that. Like, for example, my tank play style has shifted recently because I've been, like, getting into a lot of, like, those really good ranked lobbies and seeing the timings. Like, my, my, I've become a bit more aggressive as a tank now because I'm realizing timings a lot better, right? So sometimes I can shift mid-game, too. Like, sometimes I'll start a game, like, playing a little bit further back, then I recognize, okay, I need to trade a little bit more, and I start playing a bit more aggressive, right? And you could have that happen mid-game where your tank also shifts play styles, or they go Zarya, use all their bubbles, and run at their team in a straight line. <laughs> Either or, right? Don't be afraid to window this, because this is a good sight line for your window, and for your teammates. Per usual, window also helps your team. They have no lamp, this is a good window opportunity. I would window soon. Uh, you can actually solo window if you want. If you really want to, you can solo window up there. Okay, I do want to say, I get the idea behind your window. I would recommend windowing for you there. And I know that it looks like you're probably going to win this team fight, but the reason why I recommend you window for you is because then the other team is also forced to have to turn around more. There's like a chance your team won't get value from that window. So your positioning was good, but you can window for yourself. Don't be afraid as like a BAP to window for yourself. You can absolutely do that, especially when you have good position and a good angle. You know what I'm saying? Yes. If, in case you're wondering, the Reaper did teleport to the high ground and did not use... Be, be careful with your lamp. That lamp was something. Um, and, and literally dropped down from the high ground to ult people below. I don't even remember if they got somebody. Your position is good here, by the way. I, I, I want to give you credit on this. You've done a good job of recognizing they're not going to go for you. You can damage a little bit here, by the way. So, so one of the questions you asked, one of the questions you asked of like how you can like find ways to damage and heal during that, your Ramacho's HP was really good. They still were very close to Nemesis form. The Reinhardt was discorded. So if the Reinhardt's discorded and you're behind them, you're going to shred the Rhine. The Rhine has to turn. So at a certain point, you need to balance that. This is where you need to find that balance where your Ramacho's fine HP. Put one shot into that Rhine, they're already having to turn because they have a Discord orb on them, right? Do you get what I'm saying? Th th there's certain times where, like, you need to find that balance. That is one of them. Your position is good, though. Now, window for yourself. Window for yourself. There you go. Much better. Much better. Now you can keep them healed up. 
At the very least, you can do a bunch of damage. You should be good here. It depends. Nice. Perfect. Oh, that was wonderful. Now, do you see the difference between how easier it is to keep your teammates up because you can both heal and damage them at that range and you get the value of window? That's what I was talking about. So your position was great. I mean, it, it's awesome when you take that high ground control and nobody on their team even remotely tries to go for you. Isn't that a swell treat? You just sit up there the whole time like, hey, how's it going, everybody? Having a good time? Yeah, the Reaper went up there. So it's the thought that counts, right? The Reaper teleported up there, saw a lamp, and went, I'm good. Never went up there again. The Reaper literally teleported up there once with ult, said, you know what? I'm good, and then never went there again. That was it. That was the play. They're like, I'm good. No, I'm set. That's fine with me. So with the way that your, your, your tank played D.Va last time, you're going to be on heals the whole time for now. I know it's not going to be as ideal, but right now, just for now, let your D.Va kind of... What, 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 what is it? People usually say, let, let, your diva, let your D.Va pop off here, right? Like, you know, give your D.Va the availability to go in, make some plays, like... And then, after a bit... Ah, yes, there we go. Like, and then you can go in and start to make your plays. Right now, your D.Va's going to play aggressive. You know what's going to happen. They're not going to really... Yep. Oh, yeah, right into the lamp. Oh, yeah. yeah. Taking damage. Yep, good luck. You see what I mean? So you're going to be stuck in this. But now, let me show you the benefit of what just happened. Take a, take a quick look at your ult charge. Take a look at your ult charge. Notice anything? Window soon. You can window this 100%. Window this. Okay. So I, 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 let me point something out to you. Window is a really, really good ultimate that you're going to get really fast, especially when your tank plays like this. So the longer you wait, the more than likely the other team will just have window. And then your window, like you building that fast window, loses its value. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, the Diva definitely is, is playing more of that alt battery side of things. I'll, and I'll give you an example of this. In top 500, one of the common strategies and common things you see is on a brick and, and Winston. And what the strategy behind that is Winston stands there, takes a bunch of damage, you nano the Winston in. So let me ask you this question. If we did that strategy, got nano for Winston, and then didn't nano for a minute, was it worth giving up all that ult charge to everybody else who will be at about 60% and not using the nano? No. Right? You get what I'm saying? No. You, you, would, you would lose the value of that. So when you, when you get this really early window, those are the times where you use that window and like be like, okay, you know what? Yeah, my, my Diva's playing aggressive, but now we can window. Instead, look at the other team. Now they have window. So even if you window, and they window first. They window first, they get a Zen ult out. And then your Diva runs out the window in a straight line against the Zarya. Okay, I don't. <laughs> yeah, your tank's playing pretty aggressive. I, I got nothing on that one. I Listen, chat, a, a good strategy for window is to disengage window. You said the D.Va probably thought I can eat the L. Yeah, but even then, like, the D.Va can, like, you can range. Like, you can literally DM your teammates and get the same value as being in front of them. Right? Obviously, you know, if they have, like, five angles, it can be a little bit different, but, like... Yeah, I want you to window the cart. I'm just glad we got a window. Don't heal you. Don't no 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 no. Don't don't heal your diva. Don't heal your diva. Okay. A little bit of a side note, and a, and a strategy that can help you get alts quicker. Okay, are you ready? If you were playing support and you won a team fight, do not heal your teammates if you, if they if you have all the limbs. Do not heal your teammates if you have a lot of limbs. And then let me explain why. If you have a team kill, or no one's going to get rolled, just wait till your window's down or your nano's done. Why? You can start building your next L charge. So, like, right there, wait on your D.Va. Like, don't heal your D.Va after your window's done. Now you're going to have 15, 20% L charge right away. This is if you win a team fight. Not window, get in the limb, and then stop healing your team. It's if, like, no one in your team is going to get rolled or can't get rolled at that point, you wait, and then you start healing your team. Then you'll get more L charge. I want, I want to reiterate on that point again. If your team is going to get rolled during that, you heal them through it. If your teammate already wins the team fight and no one on your team is going to fall over, you can then wait a second to heal them up to get quicker ult charge. Okay? Just going to point that out one more time. I can already see it now. There's going to be a baby diva running that somebody on your team, and you're not going to heal them through your window, and you're going to be like, oh, I wasn't supposed to heal them. 
And that baby diva is going to get the limb, and you're going to be like, whoops. So I'm making it clear on when you want to do that. That is the Zenos. Here we go. Good job taking high ground. High ground's good here. Okay, now you need to kind of reset with your team a little bit in a second. Hey, nice job. Watch your D.Va. Okay, you have window. I want you to use your... Window. Window to keep your team alive. Window. Just use your window. I just... Please use your window. Window. I, I don't... I, eat, I just window. Let's get that window going here real quick if we can. Yep. This would be a good opportunity. Your, your Bastion's in turret form. Did they just use window? Good EMP, window? Let's use that window now. It's a guaranteed team fight win here, and you're gonna have, you would already, already be at 50%. Let's get that window going. Yep. I see you going for it. Let's get that window. When window is such a team fight win, you do not want to sit there and just wait and wait and wait and wait to not use it, okay? Let me give you an idea of where you would want to use your window at a good opportunity, okay? Right away when you had it on the stairs would have been a great opportunity. Okay, doesn't work. They window first. Your Sombra EMPs everybody in the window. You pop your window, this team fight's over. You already win. Instead, you're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to use the window, and now you lost the team fight that should have been won by your team because your, your, your Sombra hit such a good EMP. You see what I'm saying? So your positioning has been fine, among but blankies, you're afraid to use your blankies, window. Among blankies. And your question was is, do I heal or DPS more? I want you to window more. Because, yes, your tank's aggressive. And don't get me wrong, your tank has been playing a very aggressive play style that hasn't been easy to heal. But you want to heal them during that. But you're getting window so quickly, those windows should be a cooldown at that point. Window helps not only you, it helps your team, it helps you heal, it helps you DPS. Instead, you lose that team fight. And what I think, you would have easily won that team fight. That, that, that would have been a very, very close to a, like a, a, a guaranteed win. That was the window you went with. I see by the diva. I just want to point out, like, think about where you were beforehand and where that window was. That was the window you went with after all of that. And you know what? You probably would have already had another window by now. Instead, here you are in a last team fight situation where you might lose this game. And what does the BAP do? Pop window. Now, what, what do we remember about the previous fight, by the way? So we're going to pause because you, you, your team loses the game here. Remember who windowed the previous fight and got EMP'd? The BAP. Guess who just popped window the next team fight? The BAP. Do you see that? And that is the difference between a BAP who is willing to use their window consistently and a BAP who isn't. So just to kind of go back a little bit on this one, you asked, okay, is your tank playing aggressive? Yeah, your tank was, was, was playing a bit too aggro at times. I can agree with that. But I think this game was easily won if you were just willing to use your window. There were so many team fights that you straight up just lost because you didn't want to use your window, which would have turned the fight. Window increases damage. It increases healing for you and some other heroes. Use your window, please. Because I'm telling you right now, the game was lost on that second point right there when you didn't use that window and they just over with another window. You gotta, you gotta be ready to do that, okay? You gotta be ready to do that. Also, your lamps, I, I wanna point out, a lot of times you were just throwing your lamp to be like, okay, you're over there, I'm gonna lamp you. Your lamp is such a powerful ability. And the way that you were using lamp there was sometimes a little bit too aggressive. So work on your lamp usage, work on your window usage. Your, your damage output was okay, but like your, it was your window. I think your window was like the make or break here. Um, and I think that will help you a lot if you can be a bit more aggressive with that, all right? If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to all three YouTubes. You have everyday uploads on there. A lot of awesome videos of that. If you want to submit your own spectator, look in the description below. You'll see my Discord right there. That's where you can do that. We record these live on stream. You can see the, the Twitch chat right below the webcam. We have a lot of fun here. Stop by if you haven't. With that being said, hope you all have an amazing day slash night.